Hello everyone, Sam is here from myfirstmagicweb.com. Uh, okay, I'm going to make this video about Aussie index and Aussie trades um, and the Aussie news yesterday. So let's get started here. Uh, let me move this pen out of the way. All right, so this is the Aussie index chart I made. Uh, let me just, uh, it's audio here, okay. Uh, Okay, this is the chart I made, Aussie Index 33 minute chart on September 8th, saying that uh, this is uh, uh, going to make a turn from here, even though the price was going up. So it is not easy to predict something that, you know, totally against of the trend. The trend was, it's going up. But uh, my I had my reason, my calculation that either this one, 127 from the FIB here, and then if you put the FIB from here to here, then the 61% comes very close to this 4071. So, uh, but first choice was that we might make a turn from here and come down to 3817.04 zone. This is the zone, right? And because of this news, I was expecting that. And today, this chart came and hit the target. But it went up a little bit more. It was, it would try to come down here, but then again, it went up. To touch that, like I said, 161% of the FIB from here to here, and 4071 was the uh, SNR level. So it hit that, and then since then, it started dropping, 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 and right now I just uh, recorded the chart, 3817.04 uh, reached, and then we may bounce from here, or not, or whatever, but so far it, it dropped here. Doing so, Aussie dollar gets weaker. Aussie dollar index dropping, Aussie gets weaker, and then you have a chance of Euro, Aussie pound, Aussie long, and Aussie USD, Aussie yen, Aussie CAD, wherever the Aussie on the left hand side goes short. Right. So yesterday, what happened is that when we, the price was here below this uh, red line and this level here, this was a strong level, uh, thirty nine forty three. And uh, the news came out. Let me show you what the news came out here. See Aussie rate, cash rate, right? It was uh, 1% and expected 75%, and they were uh, expecting a cut of 0.25 uh, BPS. And then that's exactly what happened. And then we uh, came down to 0.75%. So there was a rate cut, and then the RBA uh, state <coughs> rate statement came out. And because of that, Aussie start getting weaker. Yesterday, if you look at this, uh, for example, Aussie index chart, and I'm going to show you uh, if I have it here. Uh, on a seven minute, how does it look like? This. It went up a little bit first, and then it went down, and then this is a short setup here. So right into this area, you know that the Aussie dollar start getting, uh, uh, you know, it's get, it's start to drop and start getting weaker. And when it weak, the Aussie dollar gets weaker, Euro Aussie and Pound Aussie, where the Aussie is on the right hand side, they will go up. So here are my trades accordingly. This was the Euro Aussie uh, long trade. Uh, earlier entries right here, I missed that because I was uh, I had to go out a little bit and then um, it came back but I still uh, found this entry and there was another entry after that there was another entry and so on and so forth but you know this is the entry here this is how easy it is after the news and if you have your analysis uh, in place all you got to do is to find out that if you are getting uh, long setups or short setups the price went above the wave nice and clean and gave me start giving me the long setup several one of them and then i took this one all the way up here and here's the pound aussie i'm showing the 40 minute chart because pound aussie moves so much that you know seven minute chart when i was uh, making it it was not coming the entry was not coming in the chart or oh, the price will go off uh, from this end so i have to shrink it the chart and show you that this was a basically the setup the long setup the reversal candle exactly at 8137 earlier a few days before then it was going up and somewhere here yesterday i had an opportunity to go continue going to the upside and we went up simple as uh, this 80 pip if we can take a, a, a seven minute look maybe uh if I'm, i have it here let me see uh, no oh yeah uh, pound aussie probably yeah see this is how the pound aussie seven minute chart look like <coughs> 
now it is dropping but you see that this is so much messed up that's why i have to uh, make a uh, 40 minute chart and just the entry and the entry was ah uh, look at that this was so my entry was one of them i, I even forgot so this is this is uh, one of the entry here the, uh, right after that news this was an entry this was an entry this was an entry and then all the way to the upside right and then it drops a little bit and then go all you know to the upside and then this is uh, later on what's happening right now and then you know later to uh, today this evening uh, god knows what happened johnson says something or something happened look at that it's a lot of up and down and up and down uh, and this is how it is uh, showing right now okay so maybe coming down so you know i'm watching for a downside now uh, for pound weakness i'm looking for the pound weakness and for that uh, pound uh, Aussie, pound yen, and pound all of those, you know, pound pairs, pound CAD, pound Nuzi, pound USD, they're all probably going to drop. And uh, if I take the trades, I will be showing in those trades tomorrow. So this is what happened yesterday, and this is how you use this system. Uh, look for uh, the right entry, look for the right uh, size, I mean, um, uh, the right news, and then you go uh, and look for your entries, and if you find one, you'll take it according to the rules, and that's it. So this is it for now. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.